Hi everybody, my name is Danielle Byrne and I'm an associate artist working with Mortal Fools. I'm also a playwright, mainly in children's theatre, and I'm a theatre facilitator as well as a writing facilitator. Today I'm going to do a small workshop for you based on mindfulness and writing for mindfulness. Mindfulness for me is a bit like training the mind and it does take a lot of practice to do this. So whether you've done this before or you haven't, it doesn't matter. You can take part in this um, workshop either way. I struggle with anxiety quite a bit. So mindfulness helps me stay present, get a, a sense of clarity, also helps me bring a sense of calmness to my day and reflect on things that are making me feel anxious and also helps me move forward. It also helps me with my creative brain because I'm a total overthinker, which can really block uh, the creative energy coming to me. So I practice mindfulness to help get my creative ideas out. And in this workshop, which is all to do with writing, hopefully you'll find this useful as well. And whether you are creative or not, doesn't matter. You might be able to pick up some techniques that'll help you in the future as well. So mindfulness for me, and hopefully this will make sense to you as well, is all about being present, being aware. Whenever you get a thought into your mind, I don't want you to judge that thought. I don't want you to focus on it. It's all about that moment when you realise a thought is popping into your mind rather than being present and then just let it pass. That thought might pop up again in a few hours time, but it's fine. At the time that you're practising mindfulness isn't the time to, to acknowledge it. It's almost like that saying a train of thought. Once you get a thought into your mind, it can continue onto other thoughts and more unuseful things that um, might end up causing you a bit of anxiety. So for today, whenever we're doing any of these um, activities, notice that thought, which might be, what am I having for tea again? Notice that you're thinking it, stop thinking it and just let it pass. Don't judge yourself for thinking it because it takes a lot of practice. So hopefully you'll enjoy this workshop today and find some ideas or activities that you can use in the future too. Okay, the first activity is just starting off with a small breathing technique. Breathing and breathing properly will help release 70% of toxins in your body. It'll automatically make you feel a bit more calm and clear your brain and just slow your heart rate down a little bit, ready to continue with any activity that you're about to do really, or it's something good just to do if you're having a bit of an anxious moment during the day. So what I want you to do is breathe in for a count of four. And when you're breathing in, balloon your belly out. So don't breathe into your chest, breathe into your stomach. After you've breathed in for a count of four, I want you to hold it for a count of four. And then breathe out for a count of four. And you're going to do that three times. And once you've done that, the activity that we're going to do is you're going to continue on from these sentences and this is just for yourself once you've done your breathing just to feel a bit more calm and I want you to continue on from my mind is most busy when my mind is most calm when and my mind is most present when Okay, so the next uh, really simple technique that we're going to do is a short body scan that I'm going to read out to you and you can find a nice space in your room and just potentially close your eyes just so you um, can focus a little bit more. The purpose of a body scan is to release any tension in your body that you might not realise that you're experiencing. And sometimes it's really amazing how much tension you're holding throughout different parts of your body that you don't realise. So think of this as a bit like a mental x-ray. 
and that you are going to kind of travel across your body and focus on different parts to try and release that tension a little bit. And then straight after this, we're going to do a short writing exercise to help us. So if you want to close your eyes now, and I'm just going to read this short piece of script for a minute or so. So get yourself comfortable. You can close your eyes if you wish. Feel the weight of your body where you are seated. Notice your feet on the floor and the sensations you feel. The heat, vibration, pressure. Now bring your attention to your legs. How do they feel? Heavy? Light? Notice your back against the chair. Bring your attention to your stomach now. Is it tense or tight? Let it soften. Take a breath. Notice your hands. Are they tense or tight? See if you can allow them to be soft. Feel any sensations in your arms. Let your shoulders drop and relax. Now notice your neck. Can you feel any tightness? Try and soften your neck. Pay attention to your face. Your jaw. Now your forehead. And let all of these muscles soften. Notice your whole body present. Take a breath and open your eyes. Okay, so hopefully you feel a little bit more calm and relaxed in the body and that should benefit how you write next with this task and can also help you tap into other emotions or other senses in the body. So this short task is something called free writing. So if you haven't done any writing before, free writing is really nice just to, it's sort of like a, um, a brain splurge really onto the page. So I want you to continue on from the sentence, I notice and just take about three minutes to let your pen flow across the page. I don't want you to stop and think about what you're writing. It doesn't matter if it doesn't make much sense. If you get stuck at any point, the last word that you wrote, just repeat it until something else flows to your mind. Okay, so that's kind of the technique of free writing. It's just keeping the pen to the page. And you're gonna continue on from the sentence, like I said before, I notice. And I just want you to sit there and notice how your body feels now you've done that body scan and that short breathing exercise at the beginning. And use your senses to write this. So think about what you notice around you, what you can hear, what you can smell, what you can see, what your body's feeling like. And I want you to write this down and continue from that. Okay, so the next exercise is more based around writing and it's quite an easy way of um, creating a poem or doing creative writing based around your experiences. And it relates to mindfulness mainly in a way to help you reflect and practice gratitude. Although mindfulness is about being present, it's also about having a positive attitude, a positive mental attitude and focusing on everything that you're grateful for in your life. So when you do this next task, I want you to keep that in mind and see how you feel after it. So all I want you to do is draw around your hand as the first step. Then step two, I want you to think about everything that your hand has done or does. 
and I want you to write down the sentence, this is the hand that. And for the first step into writing, into developing this, just list things. And it might be really, really simple things, such as eating breakfast. So this is the hand that holds um, my spoon that eats my porridge in the morning. It might be something a bit more elaborate. So think of all the places that you've been, for example, traveling. So think of uh, places that you may have gone to and the experiences that you've done. So it might be that you've um, swam with dolphins. But using that experience, think exactly what your hand did or your hands did. So it might be this is the hand that um, splashed the waves in the Mediterranean Sea over the dolphins that swam by me. So try and be really specific with how you're doing your list, if that makes sense. So it could also be really simple day to day things that you do and um, that you're feeling grateful for. So, for example, this is the hand that holds the brush that brushes my daughter's hair every morning. When you're doing your list, try and think of all the things that you are grateful for in your life, big or small. And you can leave it as that, leave it as a list, maybe scatter the list around the um, hand that you've drawn on your page or inside the hand. Or you can turn it into a bit of a poem using this is the hand that at the beginning of each sentence. And then you fill in the end of the sentence as you go down. And hopefully it's something really nice and personal that you can keep or share with family and kind of just make you feel a little bit more reflective on your life and all of the wonderful things that you've done or are doing. OK, so I'm just going to end this workshop on a few things that you can do every day to help you practice mindfulness um, and also help you practice your writing as well. So one of the first things is to start a little gratitude journal. And this is really simple and some of you might already do this already. And at the end of the, the day, uh, just to write in your journal three things that you're grateful for. And even if you've had a really, really rubbish day, it's something that's really good and really simple to do to help you refocus your mind to think of those positive things that have happened in your day, whether it's you're really grateful just for that bar of chocolate that you had. But if you can really, really nitpick at your day and find three things that you're grateful for, maybe you've had a day where you've got a hundred things, so you've got to pick the top three and try and do that just before bed every day. And it really kind of sets you up nicely for a positive sleep. And the final thing, is to take a moment every day to have a mindful drink, whether it's your um, morning cup of tea or coffee or just a glass of water. And while you're drinking that drink, try and stay as present as possible. So notice what it tastes like, how it feels in your hands, the sensations that you're feeling when you drink it. Is it hot? Is it cold? How your body's feeling? So do a bit of a body scan as well as you drink it. And it's just a couple of minutes a day to try and practice really being present and focus totally on that drink. And there's something really nice about that. So hopefully you've enjoyed your time with me today and learned something or kind of advanced some skills that you're already trying to develop in mindfulness. And I hope... Uh, you continue to practice. Thanks very much. Bye.